On this edition of Total OS, today we will be taking a look at Linux Mint 9 Isadora Final, which was released today. Uh, as you well know, it, those of you who watch my videos, this has been one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Linux distributions, and this is coming from a primarily a Windows user. Okay, let's scroll down here and see what is new with Linux Mint 9. And before we continue, I do apologize for the fuzziness in the microphone. I'm not sure what's going on. I did not have this issue in Linux Mint 8. I suspect it is a configuration issue. Okay, Linux Mint 9 is Adora at a glance. We have new software manager, 30,000 packages, review application straight from the software manager, app daemon and visual improvements. Next up we have the new backup tool, incremental backups, compression, integrity checks, backup restoration of the software selection. We have menu improvements, editable items, transparent menu, always start with favorites and add to shortcuts. Desktop settings, changes apply immediately, additional options. There's a better look and feel with backgrounds, welcome screen, update manager. There are system improvements, Windows installer, Hussey quotes, USB creator, default software selection, uh, project changes, and upstream improvements. And it says here for a complete overview and to see screenshots, you can just go to what's new in Linux Mint 9 on linuxmint.com forward slash blog and as far as the system requirements real quick of course 86 processor 512 megabytes of RAM 3 gigabytes of space I recommend more than that of course a graphics card and a CD-ROM to install Linux Mint 9 okay let's take a quick look here see what we have of course you have the new wallpaper which I think looks great uh, to the right of course the time and date calendar the sound settings, of course I am running this on a uh, laptop, so of course there's the battery, my wireless uh, configuration here, and I have a 100% um, signal. And let's take a look at the updates, and wow, only six. When I installed Lucid Links, let's just say I had a lot more than six updates. I mean, I don't know. It seems to me that it was ridiculous that the many updates. Okay. Um, here I just added the um, weather report or weather forecast applet. And it's kind of chilly here for this time of year where I live. Uh, the panel bar I moved to the top instead of uh, the default setting at the bottom you may have noticed. And as far as the desktop, as far as the desktop I have computer of course, my home folder, Total OS. I did um, place the shortcuts uh, icons for Firefox and Thunderbird on my desktop because I simply prefer it that way. Well, let's go to menu, see what we have. Uh, computer, home folder, network, desktop, trash, which is uh, where I think a Lucid Link should be with the, uh, well, that, that that's another webcast altogether. Um, under system we have software manager, package manager, control, terminal, lock screen, logout, quit. This looks like it's the same as Linux Mint 8. Of course to the right here you can toggle back and forth between favorites, all applications, and to the left here you just uh, scroll to all. This will give you the uh, listing of your uh, software packaging and alphabetical order. Um, by the way, um, on my previous webcast review of Linux Mint 9, I did that. I did not um, use that or do that webcast, webcast on a dual boot system. On this particular webcast, this is the first time I am running this on a dual boot on a rather old ThinkPad laptop with less than a gigabyte of RAM and I believe only 32 megabytes of video RAM so this may run a little bit slow. Um, okay getting back to the menu here uh, of course at the bottom you have the filter to do your uh, 
search for uh, installed applications and uh, apparently this has pulse uh, pulse audio um, installed of course your sound and sound recorder which is a standard feature in both uh, Linux Mint and Ubuntu Lucid Lynx let's take a look at a couple other things here we'll go to all and scroll down here um, I did install a couple things um, that is particular to my taste number one I installed bleach bit which helps free um, free up um, space and Ubuntu tweak which is a fantastic uh, tweaking manager for both Ubuntu and uh, Linux Mint 9 uh, I am running a ThinkPad, and for those of you who are familiar with ThinkPads, you know that there is a mouse pad and a little red track point button between the G, H, and B buttons. So I downloaded this uh, utility here, which works great, uh, except when I click Save, um, it doesn't exactly save it when I re reboot. Uh, I have to go back and set it again. So I, apparently I'm missing something. If if anybody knows, uh, let me know. I, I would appreciate it. Um, as far as the overall look and feel uh, and stability of Linux Mint 9, um, I have been running the release candidate now for a week or two. No issues. This is the final release. And personally, I just think it looks and feels fantastic for um, new Linux users and or Windows users who are thinking about replacing their Windows operating system or just wanting to complement their Windows operating system as in a dual boot configuration um, what I have here I think Linux Mint 9 would be your first choice it's great it's stable the guys who work on this can't say enough. I mean, a really, really good job. Again, uh, I mean, compared to uh, L Lucid Links, uh, bunch of headaches. But um, so far, Linux Mint 9 works great. Okay, that's it on my review of Linux Mint 9. Uh, this is my number one choice right now compared to any other. Linux distribution. If I had to pick, if I had to pick a number two, I'd stick with Ubuntu Karmic Koala. That particular distribution, I think, runs uh, just as good as Linux Mint 9. Again, the new one, Lucid Links 10.04, in my opinion, just was not ready for prime time. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching this webcast of Total OS today. And if you find these videos useful, please subscribe, rate, and comment. And finally, if anybody knows why my microphone has a buzzing sound, let me know because that'll save me the time to go out there and search for a solution. Because as you know, Windows users don't like searching for those kind of issues in a non-Windows operating system. But that's just me. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, ciao.